Hi everyone, welcome to the uh, to that session. So it's not a quick start with the uh, PLC Next Engineering software. It's more like a quick start with the um, safety PLC that we can uh, connect to the uh, PLC Next. So first, uh, you will find another hardware. So when we are doing a project with a safety controller, we need to use that hardware instead of the regular hardware. When we're gonna use that special hardware, we will have the PLC, the task for the PLC, and a safety PLC with a task with a safety PLC. So if you, as you can see, you have an unconnect, a debug, download for the regular PLC, and you get the exact same for the safety PLC. So it's really that you are speaking with two different PLC. In terms of hardware, this is the hardware uh, you need to connect to the left of the PLC. So you, you had directly that hardware to the left to the PLC. And also you will need to buy this accessories. So this accessories is going under the PLC next, the regular PLC next, and uh, will enable the left connection of adapter. So one of those adapter is the uh, ProfiSafe Master. So as you can see, I can go online with the safety program and online with the regular program. So when I am online with the safety program, so I'm just gonna press on the e-stop and release that e-stop so we can have access to everything that is going on. And also on the regular PLC, so I'm just gonna go under debug, go to the regular PLC, I got access to the regular PLC. So I can download into the regular PLC without touching the safety PLC. And I can download into the safety PLC without the need of using uh, to, 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 to download the regular PLC. And also in the non-safety PLC, I have access to everything that is going on on the safety side. So all the status of all the input, all the output, all the logic, and also everything that is going on with the network. So as an example, I will unconnect the network, so I am disconnecting the uh, the ProfiSafe bus coupler. After reconnecting, you will see that those information are changing and everything is activated and we are back to normal. So in that case, we are in automatic restart, but we have all the information about the watchdog, the timing, the status of all you know the device. So what I will do, I will change the safety program just to show you what it's look like. So I'm gonna unconnect first to both PLC. I'm gonna go to my safety program and I'm gonna just add a line to this. So I'm gonna add the line. So I'm gonna use an always on in terms of safety and that always on will drive the new output I have created. So this output. So I am using in that case ladder. Uh, we can use ladder or function block in the safety section. Also, I am using a Profinet bus coupler with ProfiSafe IO. So I'm gonna go to that IO and I'm gonna say, I would like to connect uh, channel, the output number two to out number four. So this is how I can connect hardware to software tag I have created. Also, when we are in the programming of IO, uh, you see you get variable from the regular PLC, you get variable from the safety PLC. So you can create any tag and just say that tag will be on both sides of the PLC. So the safety and the non-safety. When we are creating those kind of tags, we will have input and output. So input meaning that I am sending data to the, to the safety program output, I am receiving data from the safety output. So this is how it's working. So I will download that new project. So I just press download. So it will compile a project, making sure everything is fine. Create the checksum code also. So I'm gonna show you just later what it's mean exactly and how we can manage those checksum. You will ask me for a password. When we are downloading into the safety controller, um, you need to stop the entire safety process and restart it after. So when the download gonna be done, the safety will restart 
will execute the program. In my case, everything is in uh, uh, um, automatic restart. So everything is restarting and uh, everything is fine. So after that, I can go back online and see what is going on. And my new output is on now. So this is how that thing is uh, working. So for the checksum error, so I'm just gonna unconnect again and show you what it look like. So if I go to my project, you will see that my entire project do have a checksum for the program and for the variable, but also all those sections. So you can have multiple subsection inside a safety program. And I can say that section is verify verify and verify in that case under safety information you will have a checksum that is creating according to the section the subsection called code so this one so this one is plenty uh completely verify so we can start you know using this so this is how that that safety portion profi safe portion is working on uh, PLC Next Engineer. So if you have any question, please reach us. And I hope you, uh, you did enjoy that uh, small overview.